Fairies, I hope you're well. Owen Arte Briggs here, creator of Fairy Diaries magazine. So I'm back with another video and we are going to be doing more videos on YouTube um, because when we have things to promote, which as I told you, Fairy Diaries is so huge, we're so busy that we always have, you know, projects in the works. We always have things that we need to promote, get out there and we are still a relatively new brand. We've only been, uh, you know, out for five months. So, um, I will be doing more videos on YouTube. Now on YouTube, we focus on celebrity news. Uh, we focus on try on hauls. We focus on beauty tutorials. Um, and, and, and yeah, I think that that's about it. That's what we focus on on YouTube. So those are our, our three main topics um, on here. Now today we're going to be focusing on celebrity news and um, our celebrity news shows happen every Sunday without fail. Okay. Um, bar one Sunday that's coming up, which I'm going to tell you about now because we've got something else really exciting going on that I want you to tune in and listen to. Although we probably won't broadcast it on YouTube, um, we'll just broadcast it on Apple, Spotify, and fairydiaries.com. So, mm, pardon me, our celebrity news shows happen every Sunday usually okay more often than not um once in the blue moon something else will take precedent okay like like the announcement i will make today about something coming up in april then um midweek we usually talk about more celebrity news but what we tend to do midweek is either do beauty tutorials as we talk about the celebrity news or you know announce any major projects then we talk about the celebrity news you know, perhaps maybe do a, you know, a beauty tutorial using new beauty products, like, like, you know, a facial or something like that, whilst talking about celebrity news. So midweek, that's what tends to happen. So essentially expect a celebrity, a celebrity news commentary show every Sunday. And then midweek, when I say midweek, I'm talking from Tuesday onwards. Um, but if we've got any breaking news, it might be from Monday evening onwards. Okay. So that's what I mean when I, when I say midweek, midweek, expect beauty tutorials, makeup tutorials, whilst I talk about celebrity news, or perhaps these makeup and beauty tutorials stand on their own, or it may be a, a try on haul, you know, um, with one of our fashion affiliate partners that stands on its own. Okay. So that is the schedule for Pharaoh Diaries. On YouTube um, follow us on as many social media platforms as possible we are on Facebook TikTok Instagram um, uh, Twitch um, Pinterest what else are we on is that it I'm sure there was one more um, Tumblr that's it Tumblr so follow us, we've got eight social media platforms, including YouTube. So follow us on those platforms. Go to the About tab, you'll see direct links to most of those platforms. And you can also get direct links to those platforms on pharaohdiaries.com, okay? Okay, because I know I've got a lot of new followers. I've got a lot of people just watching my videos, um, but not hitting that subscribe button you know um hint hint <laughs> and yeah i just want to make sure that everyone's aware of of our schedule on youtube and you know what we're all about um which which i've talked about several times so do go back and watch as many videos as possible okay and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about um a major part of fairy diaries as well which is literature okay um now i love reading um, I also used to write a lot when I was a teenager around age 13 and 14. I used to write short stories. I used to write poetry and, um, you know, I, I studied, um, English literature at A level and A level is like before you go to college. So age 17 for my non UK residents. Um, so I studied English literature at A level and I got an A star. So I've always just loved, you know, books and, and literature. So even though I didn't study English literature at university, it's been, you know, a very deep part of my life. And I'm just so happy now that I started Fairy Diaries, um, which is, you know, a fashion, beauty, luxury, life, luxury lifestyle and arts blog. Um, and within the arts, literature is obviously involved as well. So I'm just so thrilled that I get to, you know, um, 
see through my writing ambition and, and my passion for writing within fairy diaries um, as part of you know the many topics within the arts that we cover so that brings me nicely to our announcement the Pharaoh Diaries Book Club launches on April the 25th, um, which funny enough also happens to be, to be my oldest brother's birthday. Um, that, that is a Sunday and it will be launching within our podcast. So our usual podcast, which we film for YouTube, it will be launching within then. Um, but we may not film, we, we may not film um, the book club pod, uh, podcast for YouTube. We, we will just have it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and fairydiaries.com, okay? So make sure you go over to fairydiaries.com. We have direct links to our Apple Podcasts um, page and our, and our podcast. And we have direct links to our Spotify podcast as well on our homepage. So make sure you go over there and sign and subscribe to that as well. So you don't miss liter uh, our, our book club. Now, the book club is called Literary Hour. Liter literary hour okay you know like literature and um we've already done a liter a literary hour podcast before um in november and um if you go over to fairodiaries.com now you'll see within our top post i've done a, a brand new post launching our literary hour book club and there is a link within that post that takes you to our november podcast that that was kind of like the soft launch for, for literary hour okay it was the soft launch so you know literary hour is also known as the fairy diaries book club okay okay so how the fairy diaries book club will be will be run is we will have podcasts dedicated solely to talking about particular uh, particular books that we've read and uh, we're not going to obviously reveal the whole book what we're going to do is talk deeper about the characters what we think makes them tick you know um key theme key themes within the book so we're not going to be giving it away um but we're just going to be exploring it on a deeper level pretty much like i did um during english literature class um within a level okay so it's kind of like you know that's what we used to do so you don't you don't even have to get it 100 percent right because a lot of the time with literature what happens is you know your own perception of what you think um, the writer is trying to portray, particularly within poetry. You know, you kind of use their symbols and their references to kind of put together an idea of what you think the poet is trying to say, because a lot of the time poetry is quite, you know, sorry, I just thought, okay, yeah, I'm still looking good. I'm like, what's that? Uh, something on my phone there. So a lot of the time, um, what right what, what writers will, will do and what poets will do is kind of have you know just 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 have artistic license to use symbolism to use you know references to use um soliloquies to use just whatever they feel like really and because that is really what art is about art is about you know um going beyond boundaries so they use these different things and they paint a picture and sometimes you know the, the the picture that they're trying to paint especially if the poetry is written in ye olde english language it's not it's not so clear and direct so it's up to you the reader to kind of think about using this the using the symbolism that, it, that they've used within the poem to try and piece together what the writer is trying to say so that's the sort of thing that we used to do in english literature class so we're going to be doing something similar um, with um, the Fairy Diaries book club, okay? Because what I don't want is for people to give the book away. We are going to be talking about brand new books that are coming out. Um, so, you know, um, I want you to protect the writer's um, intellectual property and not give the book away. But, you know, I want you to dig deeper into your kind of creative talents and, um, you know, dig, 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 into, dig, dig deeper into those skills to come up with perhaps alternative meanings, perhaps deeper meanings about the book and just explore the um, characters on a deeper level. So that is what the Fairy Diaries book club will focus on. 
now the first book club will be on the 25th of april like i said and as i said it will take place within the pharaoh diaries podcast so it'll, it will replace our usual celebrity news that we do within the pharaoh diaries podcast which is on every sunday as i said on youtube and on apple spotify and pharaohdiaries.com so it, it will re replace that slot just for one day on april the 25th and then obviously when we do these more and and have more books because you know our book club is, is here to stay it's permanent that is how the schedule will work i will come on here announce when um we have a book club coming up and, and when it will it will replace our usual celebrity news i'll tell you where to buy the book and then you get the book ahead of time to take part in the podcast okay and how we're going to take part in the podcast is what will happen is um the podcast will be essentially pre-recorded because i record the podcast on saturday nights and then i post it on sunday mornings so when that happens that's why you need to go and subscribe to ferrodiaries.com subscribe for paid subscription which is nine pounds 99 pence a month or you can subscribe for annual subscription which is 100 pounds a year because when because when that happens um when i post the podcast on ferrodiaries.com and on apple and on spotify um what you will be able to do is go over to ferrodiaries.com and comment you can also comment on apple and spotify i believe um you can you can comment on there as well yeah i checked you can comment on there so you can leave your comments under the podcast and give your ideas and your kind of deep deep um deep um you know thoughts about the characters and your 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 alternative thoughts about the characters things that people perhaps may not have thought about and leave those within the comments okay so that's how it's going to that's how it's going to work we're not going to be able to interact live but you are going to be able to interact with me via the comments on ferradaries.com on apple podcasts on spotify and we won't do it on youtube so it'll just be on those three platforms apple spotify and ferradiaries.com okay so the first thing after you watch this video is go over to ferradiaries.com or just get your other phone now because i know you guys have phones and laptops and things like that get your laptop go over to www.ferradiaries.com go to the you you land on the home page and all the links for apple spotify and to subscribe for paid subscription to ferradiaries.com are all on the home page okay towards the bottom of the home page so go over there right now and and find it and sign up okay because when you sign up for paid subscription you'll get emails every time I'm, every time i post on ferradiaries.com every time i write a new story every time i post a new so and anytime i post a new story you'll get um an email and you'll be able to see it um, because subscribers we have our subscriber only content so subscriber only content is only visible to subscribers now the fairy diaries podcast and the fairy diaries book, book club is available to everybody subscribers and non uh, and non-subscribers okay so if you're not quite ready to subscribe yet you can just sign up for email notifications there's a huge um email um you know um uh a slot and a bar for you to put your email in and it says um subscribe via email it's like in black you can't miss it let me where's my other phone oh this is what i need to okay it's over there just bear with me guys let me just go get it so i can show you on my phone how it works Oof. okay guys right let's see Okay, so I'm just going over to the website now. Come on, I'm trying to get to it via Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right, so we're here. I'm going on the home page now. So this is the home page for fairydiaries.com. Okay, this is the home page. These are the latest blog posts. So you can see the book club blog post there. These are the latest blog posts. You can click on it to go to a blog post. Okay. Then to get to the Apple Spotify links, because here, here's the podcast from last week. So the, the podcast from last week, from, from Sunday, 
that will be here okay that will be on the home page for fairydiaries.com within the latest posts within that screen i just showed you so you can press play to listen to the podcast there and you can listen to it okay so this is the box i'm talking about if you don't want to sign up for a paid subscription just fill in this box here to sign up if you want to receive our that's our nail inspo wall if you that's the link for spotify to listen on spotify right there okay and here are the areas where you can sign for paid subscription you just click subscribe and it then asks you for your card details there if you can see okay right so paid subscription gives you access to majority of the Ferro diaries platform because majority of our platform is accessed via paid subscription now um i would suggest getting paid subscription because you won't be able to access the courses or otherwise you won't be able to access our deals with our affiliate partners um which you can access via the deals and discount codes tab um, you won't be able to access majority of our blog posts okay so just sign up for paid subscription even though the podcast is free to listen to um for, for but you need also an email subscription at least to, to to get the podcast via email um but sign up for paid subscription because that will give you access um to the podcast um and you know and everything else that is that is subscriber only content so even though the podcast is free everything else on our website is subscriber only content okay so we'll give you access to everything essentially so go sign up for that so just to repeat the first Ferro diaries book club show is going to be on the 25th of april guys it's really hot in here let me just put the heating off just one second Woo! i was just boiling mm, pardon me for shaking them shaking the camera and everything that's better i was just sweating there for a second okay so the first uh Ferro diaries book club show is going to be on the 25th of april mark it in your calendars now and then go over to ferrodiaries.com as i've just shown you and sign up for apple podcasts ferrodiaries.com and spotify so you get your email notifications and your notifications every time i post um anything so when i post the podcast as i said i'll record it on saturday night and you'll get it on sunday morning when i post it you'll get it via email um, if you're subscribed um, to ferrodiaries.com and you'll get it via, via a notification on your Apple podcast and your Spotify if you're subscribed to the podcast on either of those platforms, okay? So go over and sign up now. Paid subscription gives you access to the entire ferrodiaries.com platform, which includes our deals of up to over, 90, over 95%. Uh, when, we, when we have our flash sales with ultimate bundles for example which is another kind of e-course and e-book provider that's that's one of our affiliate partners it gives you access to fashion brands beauty brands huda beauty cult beauty um nike hunter larry dude 24s um, miss pap all these brands that i mentioned to you all the time um it gives you access to those brands okay any special deals promos and collaborations that they're launching i will send that to you directly via email so that's what paid subscription also allows you to do and paid subscription allows you to ac access our courses in pr marketing sales and um, influencing okay and finally our um, paid subscription allows you to access our subscriber only blog posts okay so that is when anytime we have any stories around fashion week any stories at all within the arts that i want to write about um i i, I always 99.9 percent .9 of the time leave it for subscribers only okay the, the only time i won't is if it's like an advert and it's very short you know it's not detailed etc so you know majority of the content on ferrodiaries.com is subscriber only so go over there and do that now um within the within the top post on ferrodiaries.com you know like i just showed you now where you could scroll through and see all the posts the top post is the announcement for this book club okay and um within that you'll be able to see a link from amazon to buy the book you need to buy the book now so that you can read enough of it to take part in all the comments when i post the podcast on the 25th of april 
okay because i want to find out your thoughts that's the way to get people to interact you know i want you to you guys to get you know a conversation started okay make a comment somebody replies you reply back you know let's get a buzz going about this book okay and, and all the books we'll be discussing so um you need to go and buy that book now and we are affiliate partners of amazon so when you buy the book Fair diaries does get a commission from amazon okay it doesn't increase the price or do anything to the price we just get a cut um and that's called black business okay when these big brands are giving us opportunities to start our own brands and they are partnering with us these huge billion dollar brands are partnering with us to help us increase our profile so you know you people can't complain about you know the white man this the white man that they didn't, they didn't do this they don't do that there are things in place to help us um that they're giving us you know um, um you know new creators like us that is being given okay um to us you know by these major companies so go over there click on the top post it's called the pharaoh diaries book club um, click on that, read what it says. It just gives you the exact same information I've given you about the book club. Read what it says and then you'll see a link to buy the book on Amazon. Click on that link, buy the book now. And then by April the 25th, when the podcast is posted on fairadiaries.com, on Apple and on Spotify, you'll be able to comment your own thoughts and I can reply back and blah, blah, blah. We can get a nice conversation started about these books, okay? Let's talk about intelligent intellectual content. Um, that's why I love Pharaoh Diaries because we talk about everything. I don't want to talk about celebrities all the time because, you know, um, that's another person. Um, and yes, even when I talk about them, they are adding to our platform, but that's not all I'm interested in. I always say a lot of these bloggers are not focused enough about their own business, how to build their own businesses to be bigger and better and to be bigger than talking about celebrities, because to be honest, um yes you can you can stick you can stick to one thing and say yes i want to be an entertainment blogger um but i personally don't like to don't want to build a business talking about other people um and especially like talking about other celebrities i want to talk about books i want to talk about fashion i want to talk about beauty i want to talk about the other things that interest me um and interest you as well because um you know um classy folk like a variety of different things and um you know that's what sets sets us apart from every other blogger and we bring you a lot of different things and a lot of different facets so go and do all those things i just said right now if you need to play this video again play this video again to hear exactly what i said but essentially the best thing to do that summarizes all this information is to go to fairadiaries.com there's even a direct a direct link on the about tab that you can click and go to our website and then click on the top post which is called the fairy diaries book club and then you'll find a link to buy the book and then sign up for paid subscription or sign up for just email subscription so you get notified when I post anything on fairadiaries.com including the Fairy Diaries book club podcast called Literary Hour including that you'll get notified so that you can then get involved and comment and comment and comment away about these books okay okay so that is the Fairy Diaries book club and we launched that today and we have been talking about it since November last year and i'm so happy that we finally got to launch it and it did take a big chunk of our video but it certainly de deserves a big chunk so before we go um before i go let's talk a about a few bits of news that came across my desk okay that um i i quite like to talk about um first of all i want to address the previous video i did um because i got a comment today saying that from from some from somebody uh, from a mother who said that she had a child who had cancer and you know if her child that was her her dying wish to talk to jt um you know then that was her dying wish and i was being cold-hearted and she prays that i have compassion and i replied that yes i am so sorry for you for your trauma i'm so, I, I deeply apologize for your trauma however that really wasn't the point of what i was trying what, what i was trying to get at and you know she she clearly she clearly knows and a lot of these people know that that wasn't the point of what I was saying. What I was saying is that JT is an adult artist for adults only. What I was saying was JT is a convicted felon. And why are you allowing your kids to talk to convicted felons online? Uh, what I was saying is, why are you letting your child um, on the internet, unsupervised, um, commenting on the, all these people's posts, all these celebrity people's posts, essentially harassing them? Because when you comment and you comment and you comment, 
you know, people get notifications, notifications, notifications all the time. You know, unless unless they mute it, you're, you're essentially kind of like harassing them. And this is where I blame the parent because you're letting your child run loose online and essentially harass people online. And, you know, and what my other point was is no human being has an obligation to do anything uh, for anybody. Um, you know, um, especially if the other person is showing signs of being disingenuous. And I do believe JT um, when she says that the child was showing signs of being disingenuous. I do believe it because I'm, I'm actively on social media now. Before that, I was not on social media for these exact reasons, okay? Um, you know, I spend more time focusing on things that are going on right in front of me than on what's going on on the internet. I focus more time on my own personal business than what's going on on, on, the, in, on the internet. And I, and I did get stalkers while I was on the internet, I did. Um, and one of them stalked me enough for me to shut down all my social media okay um the fairy queen is the fairy queen okay so that was what i was in essentially saying that i do believe that um you know um the parents allowed the child to act inappropriately because they weren't there supervising the child on the internet and i and i and i believe wholeheartedly that children need to be supervised on the internet that's why you have parental lock um, if you have parental lock, somebody like a JT, their page wouldn't come up. You can't even access Instagram with parental lock. You can't. So that is essentially what I was trying to say. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to have a bigger conversation about what people allow their children to consume, uh, which is a massive conversation. That is why these, these barriers are in place already by the organizations i mean people are so quick to cuss out organizations but yet they never take ac accountability for themselves and what they do to enable such behavior to to, to 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 enable all these things that people complain about um a lot of the time you know there's there's no there's no ghost here causing problems it's other humans causing problems and a lot of the time you have and, and every time you have sole control of what your children get involved in you have sole control on protecting your children you have sole control on, on ensuring that you adhere to these guidelines because they're there for a reason because unfortunately um people are, are out here it's not even unfortunate it's a free world so artists can be a little bit sexual artists can use profanity because it is a free world and and that is just because you know um the freedom the freedom of speech and uh, you people always complain about that that gets silenced an artist being sexual and an artist being an adult an adult artist that is part of freedom of speech so within that you know um it is jt's right um to express herself the way she wants to express herself it is it is jt's right um not to respond to a fan um who was in her opinion harassing her um and i don't think that she would just pull this out of nowhere and and just be rude for no reason i think that she did look into what was going on and she wasn't she wasn't feeling it and she didn't feel as if that um it was appropriate to contact the child based on what was going on so i do believe her you know and and people know this they understand what i'm saying but what i can what i can't stand the most is when people understand what someone else is saying but they purposely la 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 just to hear the sound of their own voice that is what i hate the most and it, and i can see that a mile because you're 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 writing a comment on the, my video and commenting on something that i already talked about at length for about 30 minutes and um you 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 have you have purposely done that to try and um twist the 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 argument and 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 essentially just block out what i was trying to say i don't like people who communicate like that uh, when i say something i know that i speak clear english i know that i am coherent i know that i am making sense so please don't come at me as if i haven't explained to you in in full what i'm trying to say so 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 you know i got i got a comment today from that lady as i said and she basically said you know if it was if it was she had a child with cancer and if and if it was her child's dying wish then why not you know which totally ignores what i said which is your child should not be watching ajt in the first place ajt is a felon she's a scammer and a thief why are you letting your child talk to her online let the adults have their fun.
that's that's for adults let the adults have their fun and let the children be children watch dora the explorer watch this and watch that there's so many things out there for children but you people don't parent you don't parent effectively you don't parent effectively you are too lazy um to parent you know that's essentially what you're telling me by saying that you know you're fine with your child watching and being a fan of jt jt is not for children and a lot of these artists are just putting up with this they they know that they're not for children they must just be laughing at you parents because they're just putting up with this and just kind of like uh eh, well and just like jt said it's not her it's not her place to babysit your children a lot of them are just are laughing at you because they know they talk they talk hot mess and they are confused as to why an eight-year-old is is writing them and telling them how much they love them they are just like what an eight-year-old damn these parents are slow so that's that's exactly what i was getting at it wasn't it was nothing really to do about oh i should i should have some compassion it's about the fundamentals of why there is parental advisory stickers on music um of why you know um, um felon felons have restrictions and can't do certain things they can't even get certain jobs um because they're felons because the idea is if someone if somebody is a felon and breaks the law and um, they are essentially a danger to society um so why are you letting your child talk to somebody who's a danger to society that that is what i was trying to get at so let's just leave it there i'm not going to keep talking about it and, and talking about it um another thing i want to talk about is the the doja cat streets video and before i get into it let me just have a sip of juice mm -mm -mm. I, I hate I hate pig-headed people. Pig-headed people to me are people who are so stubborn. You say something reasonable based on logic, but yet they want to twist it because they know they are a lazy parent in the sense of they didn't do the right things by making sure their children don't follow artists like a JT or like a Cardi B. They don't do things to stop that. Um, so, you know like i said even if even if they do clean versions like this kitty talk english spanish and french kitty talk is is that is still adult content to be honest they can try their best to clean it up but overall it is still adult content it is and you know we can get really deep about certain things i don't think children should be exposed to like a love of money and a love of fast cars and and you know balling and all that thing that is just that is just big talk for big adults like children shouldn't shouldn't be exposed to all that and and these people know it but they just want to hide their own misfortunes and then they turn around and blame you um but love this is not the channel for that i i don't have the time if if i was really really honest on here you would be crying in your pillow tonight you really would and that just goes for everybody when i say something you know trust trust and believe there is a deeper root to it and if i was really really open and honest about it you people would would be crying in, in your pillow a lot a lot of the people that come against me family members or or whoever a lot of people who come against come against me if i really really read them down to the ground they would go jump off a bridge and end their life like that is that is how that is how gangster i am okay i'm not no real life gangster but when i say something i feel it deeply and if you go against me and you try and argue with me when i know i'm making total total sense like I've got I've got Leo I've got Leo in my chart. I will rip you to shreds. Rip you to shreds. Pure red meat. Okay? So to so don't bring that over here. I know what I said. I'm not like any of these platforms who will black who will backpedal, who will make it softer to get views. You know, that's not what this channel is. This channel is for intellectuals. Go and read the mission statement on fairdiaries.com, okay? We don't do gossip over here. We don't do chagrin over here okay um uh, we, we we don't we don't like the we don't like gossip culture we don't like the minutiae we are fed every day do you even know what these words mean that that is our mission statement so don't bring that over here don't bring that over here okay okay right um next i want to talk about the doja cat uh, streets video now i've been putting that video off for a few days because you know if you go if you go to a few videos back i did drag jo the doja cat about defending danny lay okay so doja cat's kind of irritated me um recently by defending danny lay okay 
so i saw the video pop up and even the, the first clip just i just switched it off i'm just like i'm just not in the mood i'm really not in the mood um for this you know um i'm, I'm just not in the mood I'm, I'm upset because you're defending somebody who i believe is a colorist somebody who i believe is up themselves somebody who i believe thinks they're better than black people when they are certainly not um you know you're up you are upholding the, the least you can say is that we're all equal that is really the least you can say so if any race is trying to make themselves above everybody else that is a huge problem and that's what danny lay did okay so um i wasn't having i wasn't happy with doja cat um because of that but then i did watch the video and i was reminded why i fell in love with doja cat in the first place i i kind of fell in love with doja cat when she released um is it cyber sex i wanna touch on you i see you in my room not because that's the best song she's done but i but i can tell that doja cat that doja cat really wants to impress people and really wants to deliver and she deeply deeply wants to do well i can tell from her lyrics i can tell when these artists get big that like they they are so grateful for the millions and millions of followers that they get that, that they couldn't get seven or eight years ago and when doja cat first came out i mean when she first came out i mean she didn't have this amount of followers you know people didn't know who she was so i like an artist who you can see in their eyes and in their art that they're so grateful for the love that they get from their fans and that's what i saw in doja cat's eyes like i felt it in my heart i felt like she was talking to me she does she can't see me out here on these streets honey and you can't there is only one me um you know um uh let a hoe know that i'm not motherfucking sharing she doesn't want to share me and uh, with you hoes and I, I felt like she was talking right into my heart um because you know i am a fan of doja cat and when shit like this happen when when anything this these colorism things and this and that when it happens you know i do get really really upset but i saw in her eyes within that video um that she wants redemption from me and she's telling me that she can't see me out here on these streets and that she needs me uh, to keep supporting her, okay? So that's the sort of artists I like, people who talk right to my soul. And you know, I love Doja Cat again. I hope nothing else comes up. Please Doja, if you please, somebody send this to Doja Cat. You know, um, I, I hope nothing else comes up about you to do with colorism, I, I really hope not. Um, your dad is a fellow African, you know, um, I, I, I please don't okay um and i and even the first time i could see that you were kind of a little bit shocked because you didn't think you were doing that much wrong um you know um i i, I did see that i did definitely see that so um with me personally you know i didn't i didn't like the tone of some of your lives i didn't like the tone of some of your some of your lives i felt like you were being a little bit too abrupt um, and I think that's why some people went and dug all this stuff about you and, and put this whole expose together. But hey, that's that's kind of like a, you know, that, that's just, that's a really nothing. If someone reads you a certain way, that can be easily fixed. And it, and it may just be a moment in time. Um, so Doja Cat reassured me that she, she wants me as a fan um, by looking right into my eyes and singing that song to me. And yeah. I love Doja again. Okay, so let's hope that she doesn't f up again, and 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 you know and upset black people again, because as, as you can see, yeah, I'm really really black. Okay, no brown skin girl here, dark skin girl. I'm proud of it. Okay, okay. Right. So what else do I want to talk about, or do I want to save it? So yeah, let's talk about this. So Cardi and um, the uh, the R I A A announced that Cardi went diamond with Burdak Yellow. Burdak Yellow, one of my favorite songs of all time. It is on my all time favorite song list, um, and I'm so so thrilled. And Kodak Black also congratulated her. You see, that's the Kodak. You know, I didn't like Kodak before, but because well, I kind of I like some of his music, but he is just silly as hell to me. He is he is a delinquent. Okay, he is indeed a delinquent, and also somebody who I wouldn't allow my children to talk talk to or tweet uh, online. Okay, but I like I like some of his songs. Some of his songs. Um, I, I went back and listened to the original version, his version of Bodak Yellow, No Flocking, for the first time just a few weeks ago. And yes, it's a nice song, but I think Cardi killed and elevated that song. 
I think she really did. And and Kodak knows that. And Kodak was thanking her that, you know, um, she went diamond and, you know, he was bigging her up. And, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these other artists, they, they would probably be filled with hate. You know, they would probably, you know, be hating about it and uh, 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 and try to make drama. But Kodak is, is happy. Number one, because he's getting the checks. He's get he's getting the credit on that song and he's and he's getting the checks and you know a lot of people can try and actually get away um a lot of people can get away with not crediting you know say it was somebody else that did that song now they could probably get away with not crediting kodak black on that song actually because it was just really the flow but it wasn't even you know exactly like you could you could you could have missed it that it was it was modeled on kodak black song but that's why i like cardi because cardi was very honest that it was modeled on that song and she gave him uh his credit but um there's plenty of song out here that sound exactly like another song and these artists never give credit or all, all your favorite artists drake uh pharrell with that i know you want it song i don't know what happened with that with that court case um you know this all the time people compare back to back songs and you know it's never it's never admitted and i think cardi could have gotten away with not crediting kodak for that song but she didn't do that and she credited him for that song and you know he's thrilled he is reaping the benefits and uh yeah he he was congratulating her and i just like to see that okay i really really like to see that right there was also some talk about the RIAA on Mob Radio. Um, there was a, there was talk on Mob Radio that the RIAA was supposed to credit Nicki Minaj in 2018 because they promised Nicki Minaj in 2018 that would they would give her a diamond record uh, for Super Bass. Um, but two years is is a long time because they promised her that in 2018, and two years is a long time. Now speaking from me, spe speaking um, from my point of view and you know I've, I've been i've been in powerful positions before in corporate in these corporate um, in, in in these corporate um entities okay which which companies like the rii the riaa are they're corporate entities okay and i've been in powerful positions within such which such companies and management positions and those, those the people in the powerful positions are are regular people too okay so now there was talk about fairness and you know if Nicki Minaj was promised this in 2018 that she that this should have it should have been given to her by now before now but you know speaking speaking from my perspective as someone who has been a manager in these you know powerful corporate companies is um I think I I, I really didn't like Nicki, Nicki Minaj's behavior in the last two years towards Cardi B in, in the last two or three years I didn't like it I believed Cardi when she said she was creating a lot of aggro and smoke, um, you know, around her emerging into the scene. I believe that Nicki Minaj was stressed because some, some, of you, some of you barbs that are going so hard for her now, I believe some of you started the Nicki Minaj hate train. I do because you have to be, you have to, you have to be careful when, 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 when two extremes are presented. All of a sudden, Cardi came out. Everybody loved her and people from nowhere starting out starting out these blog posts saying that you know is is Nicki Minaj over I remember seeing it every or every video on my YouTube feed that was being presented to me was saying Nicki Minaj is over Cardi's the new queen queen of hip, hip hop Nicki Minaj is, is over that to me is an, is an extreme reaction that is an extreme reaction pulled out of nowhere and you know these trolls are very very good at pulling things out of nowhere okay and then now you've got these barbs who go so hard for Nicki Minaj, so hard, which is another extreme and another po uh, polar opposite. They go so hard for her. And I find it a little bit suspicious. I think that some of you who started the hate train online are the same people now going so hard in a way that is inappropriate in a way that I see all these Instagram posts, you people are instigating bullying, you people, are, you people are instigating hatred, instigating jealousy, instigating all these things in people. In any post that has nothing to do with anything, you guys link it to Nicki Minaj, you guys link it to the fact that she's the queen of rap and the queen of this and the queen of that, she has no competition, when that really is a lie, she's got plenty of competition right now. 
She's got plenty of competition right now. And, you know, she is, you know, she has been in, in the game for over 10 years. Um, so, you know, it's, it's ludicrous to assume that nobody in that time would be talented enough to come close to her. And, and that is not the case. And that never happens in any industry. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. There's always somebody who comes close enough. Okay. That comes close enough. And there are a lot of people out here right now who are close enough. And what and what I would prefer is, you, is is if you people acknowledge that and tell the truth and, and acknowledge that, then then make up a lie. And then you think these companies, um, as as regular people fronting them, won't be offended by that. That that's why Nikki didn't win a Grammy. She submitted a lot of songs, not this coming Grammys, but the Grammys before. She submitted a lot of songs, and I think. Particularly Hard White was an excellent song. Hard White was an excellent son song. I don't know if she submitted that or not. Um, out of all the songs she submitted, because I remember seeing the list from the Queen album, Hard White should have at least gotten a Grammy. She could have gotten a Grammy and that, and that album could have actually had more critical acclaim in the sense of awards and things like that. I know she won a People's Award. She does win awards, but, she, and she, but for Grammys and you know awards of that caliber, let's just say the Grammys, she could have won a Grammy, but you know, these people are real people that sit behind these desks. And when they see, you know, an artist behaving badly, um, an artist creating an air of confusion and, and disharmony, not really as, as a fault of their own per se, but as at the fault of being bullied by her now so-called fans. Okay, her now the new fans that have come out of nowhere. These, where were you guys? You guys, I never saw you guys going so hard for Nicki Minaj. And I've been following Nicki Minaj for a long time. I, I never saw it. I mean, I'm from the UK and I wasn't on YouTube that hard, but I, no, deep down in my soul, I think that a lot of you guys are the same people who started this hate train. You've now, and you've now gone the direct opposite. Don't forget, I have a degree in psychology, okay? So you can't get a lot past me. Um, and to, to go and do a degree in psychology and to be interested in, in becoming a psychiatrist or a psychologist, which I was, that's why I went in and did it. And, you know, I did work in that field for a long time and a while, um, but I moved on to fashion because, you know, I have many talents and I have many loves in life. And in life, you don't really need to stick to one thing. Um, you should explore all parts of your talents and of your brain. You only have one life to live, uh, so why not? And that is exactly who I am deep down okay so um to do psychology you need to be interested in people and i am and how people think it strikes me as odd that all of a sudden you've got one extreme with this Nicki minaj hate train that came out of nowhere when cardi came out saying all this stuff about oh um Nicki, Nicki minaj is over cardi's the new queen of hip-hop you know putting all this shit out and then all of us and then at the direct opposite when Nicki minaj started getting pissed off about that and started trying to fight back a little bit and, and obviously having a little bit of an attitude and, and drinking the Kool-Aid and, and believing you people and letting and letting that affect her internally, uh, which then led to her probably feeling a little bit miserable and, and a little bit slighted um, by having Cardi uh, in the same industry, you know, um, and, and, and any little thing Cardi did rubbed her the wrong way. Um, if Cardi voiced her opinion, about you know changing something in relation to do with her on a verse that is her prerogative because it's something a line you're saying about her so if she voiced in her opinion and said look i don't want you that really in that i don't really want that in your verse about me you should respect that and you shouldn't even really be putting that in there in the first place so you know um you know things that maybe nikki behind behind the scenes may have been cool about because there was this hate train towards her, because Cardi was getting so big, um, driven by now some of you so-called barbs, um, you know, she 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 got she got touchy about it, and she you know every little thing that Cardi did, she got offended by. So that was that was in part driven by this hate train. So you know, I, I I'm not I'm not going to sit here and say that you know um, because of, because of, because of, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Cardi and look I'm still watching I'm still watching because at the end of the day um, I'm, I I I don't, I don't have the same background as any of these people out here I don't have the same background as any of you I didn't grow up in the hood I didn't grow up in in, in a low income household I didn't grow up in a one parent household 
um, you know, um, I, di I, di I didn't really, yes, my parents had their ups and downs within their marriage and they argued like cat and dog, but they still had love for each other and they're still together till this day. Um, and, you know, a, pa a parent's love and, and love between parents is not really anything to do, to do with the child. So I just made sure that I had my own, my, that, that I had my own life outside the house. And I, and I did go shopping and I did go and do different things. And I did, you know, have, have little Saturday jobs. So I had my own life outside the house. I've never been one to be under my parents all the time. Okay. So, so, so I, I didn't grow up like any of you people. So I'm still watching um, because, you know, um, I want to make sure I'm spending my money where, where I should be spending my money. I'm, I want to make sure that I'm listening and doing the right things because, you know, like I always say, and whatever, whatever you encourage, and whatever you, whatever you give money to whether it's streaming money um whether it's it's my own platform like i'm sat here talking about you people you know whatever you endorse is a reflection of you and you know i i don't have the same upbringing as you guys a lot of you guys whether you're artists or whether you're bloggers i don't have the same upbringing as you so so i'm wary of even after two or three years of knowing uh cardi or, or knowing all these new artists that have come out you know based on the, on the stories they've told based on the way that they present themselves you know i see them all the time giving the finger online i don't like when i look through your posts and every post is you're giving me the finger because in the post you're raising raising the finger up that to me is somebody who's rough around the edges um that that doesn't that doesn't have to be your rap image okay i don't know who said that you have to be miserable and a bitch in rap i don't really know who said that and um, that that saps a lot of bloody energy that saps a lot of energy so i'm not going to sit here and and say yes i'm a huge fan of cardi or yes i'm a huge fan of nikki because, because i don't know you people personally um and and i i'm not i'm not from the, the same upbringing as you and i don't really want to be i don't i, I don't really want to want to be disgraced by you because anytime these 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 um these things get revealed it is it feels like a disgrace to me the supporter that's why there's the word cancelled Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you guys pop culture now and how pop culture is now. That is why there's the word cancelled um, because, you know, people get embarrassed because somebody somebody that they like exhibits such poor behaviour. And it, it is a reflection of, of them because they're spending money on that person. For, for me to spend money on you, that means you're taking away money that could be spent elsewhere. Precious resources that could be spent on buying more food in the house or, or or anything or on other artists you know money is like a part of your physical energy so for me to spend money on you um you know i have to really really give a give a f about you um and i, and I do care about these artists i do um but i'm not going to ever sit here and and praise them so so much until i have more information and you know uh, i'm gonna get more information okay I am going to get more information um, because luckily a lot of the artists are more open now. They are more open. So, you know, we, we will get to see what we need to see um, or, you know, just keep it business. Just keep it business. Um, and if, if, if we're keeping it business, then make sure, make sure the music is good. And that's what I'm going to say. Make sure the music is good and make sure that you don't go complaining, complaining online if it's not good or you get bad reviews make sure you're not fighting with every every little person online make sure you're not doing this and make sure you're not doing that and yeah then maybe in uh, in a few years i will sit here and happily endorse you um you know um just like i can sit here and endorse and and, and say that i love somebody like a Mac, like a michael jackson even though with michael jackson he's had you know a lot of controversies uh, in the past but you know deeply i believe that you know michael was just somebody who who cared about children like he cared not in not in a way that's untoward but in a way that was just like you know that was just like innocent that was innocent but obviously you know um what wasn't wasn't appropriate in the fact that you know these aren't your children and you are an older adult and uh it's not as if you're running like a daycare center you're not a facility um so why are these children there you know what i mean you're not you're not a teacher do you, do, you, do you see what I mean? So even on the one hand, I can say that I love Michael Jackson, but I can't even fully say that I love Michael Jackson because of these controversies. Because whatever I say um, is a reflection of me as well. And what whatever I say in relation to you is a reflection of me. 
so i'm just going to be careful with these artists um i'm not i'm not sitting here and saying certain anyway just back to my point quickly about about super bass uh, you know super super bass uh, supposedly um you know getting the diamond um plaque but not getting it okay based on the tweets that, that were shown up now you know these people are regular people behind these desks and behind these suits and inside these suits just as i was telling you that i've been a manager in such corporations and if i see an artist not not moving in the right way if i see an artist you know in the same field as another artist um kind of kind of bullying um that other artist who is a new artist in the industry you know I, I would take that into account and you know that will that will affect my decision making as to you know what i what i do in terms of awarding that artist it's not all about numbers it's obviously not all about numbers because if it was people people wouldn't get cancelled every five seconds it's not all about numbers it's about you know your feelings as well and how you feel about that artist and, and what they do so you know i'm i'm not a robot when i was in corporate i'm not i'm not a robot i'm not stupid um you know i have i have my job um but you know how i feel about certain things always guided what i did within my job so maybe they saw how Nicki minaj was moving you know of being 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 bullied by you people running the Nicki minaj hate train and then you know taking on this persona you know, and, and, and surrounding herself with all these goons, you know, and marrying a Kenneth Petty who, who does have that sort of past and, uh, you know, who reps Ewok and all them stuff, you know, having them around her to kind of be a shield. She did take on this, this, this persona and toughen up even more and be even more kind of um, bitchier than usual. Um, she, she did take that on. So um, to kind of protect herself against all that backlash um, that you such that some of you now barbs um started i really really do believe that um so if i was sat on one of on those boards like the board for riaa and i was watching that i would i would i would have a rethink maybe i would slow down on certain things because it is about what you endorse it's always about what you endorse and what you and what you reward it is uh unfortunately for you for you people who seem to think that it's just all about the cold hard numbers it's not all about the cold hard uh, numbers within 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 this 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 body there is a heart and we are just flesh and bone and we are flesh and bone and feelings so if if i'm if i'm not feeling your behavior and i am a major company that awards plaques um you know i might you know um put the brakes on i might you know change change um the the thresholds i might i might do anything else um other than um pick up the phone and contact you and talk to you about giving you a plaque because i'm not pleased with your behavior and i am also a part of society okay okay so that's nice that's another nice chit chat to educate to educate you people um who seem to need ed education um who seem to be dr who, who seem uh, to want pharaoh diaries to drag you across the finish line and we will we will drag you across the finish line okay because i quite enjoy it i've been i've been wanting to speak out and use my knowledge for the longest and i can finally do it and i am finally able to do it and i am enjoying it okay so we'll leave it there guys um we'll talk about all our other stories um in, in on sunday i'm not seeing anything else that i really really want to uh, talk about right now but you know a, a great little a great little piece came out today that you know the reason that Piers Morgan left was because was because um, Meghan complained uh, to ITV. So that's why Piers Morgan has left. Good morning, Britain. Okay, so I love that. Who's powerful now? Who's in the driving seat now? Not a mixed race black woman. Nah, no Piers. It can't be. So Meghan did indeed get Piers fired. Okay, so so the shoe is indeed on the other foot. Right, guys. We'll talk about it more on Sunday. Or perhaps I might come back. Who knows? Uh, as I said, we're going to be doing more and more videos on YouTube. We're trying to get the numbers, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to secure that YouTube check. And I'm going to hold on to that YouTube check, okay? I'm not going to throw it away like a lot of people. So I'm trying to hold on to that YouTube check. I'm trying to get that YouTube check. So I'll be doing more videos. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.